You just put it in label. Yeah. If you wanna. Up to you. And then you update things like that. It's pretty self Gotcha. Sick. I'm probably gonna ignore all of this. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I would appreciate it if you updated it. No promises. It would make things a lot easier. Okay, whenever you guys are ready. Okay. Starting out on Smashville. Seems like a decent choice for either player in this matchup. Uh, There's not exactly a huge amount of room for Falcon to run around and just escape, but there's enough for both of them to work with and kind of get all this stuff started in the neutral game. Falcon kick in the neutral is an interesting choice. Uh, sometimes works. I, I really like that... Uh, PK Thunder can be used to just kind of force Falcon to approach if he's given you too much space as an S. Ooh, he whiffed the throw punish. Very important to get those on Ness. Six stock cancel. He's got to play, Ness has got to be a little more careful in the neutral there to watch out for, like, Falcon throwing drive-by stomps and aerials all over the place. Seems like this Falcon's really, uh, dash dance heavy. He, uh, he could stand to try and hold on to center stage a little bit better, but overall he's doing okay with that. That edge guard was kind of crucial. Let's see it. He still is putting in work, but edge guards are really where you're going to get the majority of your kills on Falcon as Ness. Ooh, he could have tried to recover to the Smashville platform, maybe. I don't know if he had enough space, but Falcon went out too far to try and secure the edge guard. He should have honestly probably stayed on the stage and just waited. Hard read up, Smash. I respect it. He whiffs his punish off a of down air. Those are really important to land, because down air, like, you're not going to get a pop-up better than that as Ness. He's doing a good job catching him, getting behind him, and just covering his ass pretty well. He committed to uh, covering the ledge with that PK flash. This is, He's got some really interesting... Uh, Edge guard decisions with the PK flash. It's like it's better than you would think it would be. Ooh, he gets caught by a stray knee with no jump. You got to be really careful to spend your double jump around Falcon because if he hits you, then that's it. Some some double jump canceled aerials instead of just the spending the full double jump might might prevent that. Ooh, almost gets a big punish there. Good dash dance. Very, uh, can be pretty difficult to dash dance around Falcon's Nair. Falcon's throwing out a lot of down airs. You gotta kinda try to pick up on the habits, like what aerials Falcons are trying to throw out and, and punish accordingly if you think he's gonna do it again. And gentleman into knee. Not much to be done about that besides if you think he's gonna gentleman, you can smash DI away, but... It's rough to react to that in the heat of the moment. I would guess that Ness is probably going to try to take him to a big flat stage if he can. FD is a favorite. Uh, back to Smashville wouldn't be a bad choice. Or, depending on his preference, big stages or small stages could both be good for Ness. 
FD. Let's see if he can get the chain grab. That's why, that's the reason to pick this stage. Lots of down tilt. Surprisingly hard to get out of. He's doing a good job preventing him from getting anything started. It was a quick KO. He's just playing really smart with dash dances and making sure that once he gets his hands on Falcon, he can't escape. Ooh, this could be a big punish for Falcon, though. Ooh, the hard read forward smash does not work so great. One thing I've been noticing about Ness here is that he's he's missing the DI on a lot of like combo starters, like the stomps and the throws, and that can help save you a lot of the time. As long as you just it just makes it that much harder for a follow up to happen. Let's see if he can secure the punish off up throw here. I think that Nair or back air can can be you can get that off of a uh, up throw. Probably would have been a good choice. Back air out of shield, good as always against a character like Falcon who doesn't have really airtight shield pressure. Oh, he whiffs the chain grab. Ooh, that is a ballsy edge guard by Falcon. A lot of the times you whiff that and you Ness just wins that trade, but I guess he knew. Ooh, big damage. Another good edge guard. Not much Falcon can really do about BK Flash, honestly. His recovery is so li linear that he just kind of has to take it. Ooh, that could have been it. If he had timed that a little better. Still worked out, though. He didn't take any damage, so. He's getting a lot of openings with dash attack, which is is good, but if you whiff that move, you could get punished really hard, so you got to be careful with it. Another opening. Ooh, see, like I said there, he whiffed the dash attack trying to chase after tech in. Got raptor boosted, which could have led to, worst case scenario, his death. Ooh, he read Miss Tech. He's got to be really careful on the ledge over here not to spend his double jump when he doesn't need to because he could get gimped. Ooh. He makes it back barely. That was way riskier than it needed to be, but he gets the edge guard when it really matters. Game three. Falcon, I think, probably wants to take him somewhere uh, either very big or very small. Ooh, or he'll switch characters. This is probably, uh, I would guess, this is a rough matchup for Ness just because he has tiny stubby child limbs and Marth has, like, the biggest sword of all time. Can't really complain too much about Battlefield, though. He's just got to be careful on the platforms so Marth doesn't shark him through them too hard. Hopefully, uh... He's going to want to use his... The, he's been making good use of Dash Dance so far in the set. He's going to have to keep that up against Marth. He's lucky he recovered there. It was a close one. Marth goes a bit low trying to sweet spot because he didn't want to get hit by PK Flash. And honestly, edgeguarding Marth as Ness is probably somewhat similar to edgeguarding Falcon. He's fairly linear recovery. You just got to watch out for the sweet spots a bit more. Just hitting him with these back airs. Not much, you know, as long as he floats around safely. It's a pretty, pretty good move to throw on neutral. Ooh, that was a good tech. But, you know, Marth, wall jump techs, you have to get that backer right away or you're just going to die anyway. 
That was a good recovery. He called out the neutral B both times there. He knew how to get around it. He's just dash dancing around, playing patient. He's waiting for Marth to do something first because he's got all his stocks. He doesn't have to make something happen. Ooh, he's given up center stage, though. you got to be careful, especially against Marth. You don't want to necessarily go to the corner of the level of, unless you know you really have to. Holding on to center stage is really valuable, especially as a character like Ness, who doesn't have that many, you know, he doesn't have the range to threaten a lot of space at once. Mm, desperation counter. Did not work out. I wonder if that grab release was on purpose. Ooh, he probably could have gone for dash attack. Ooh, that was a good hard read. He's been having a tough time getting these edge guards on Ness, which it's hard to edge guard Ness, but with your sword, you sometimes want to go out there a little more readily than you would with other characters. He just throws it right at him. <laughs> he just gets hit by the tipper forward smash. Back arrow shield has been serving him really well this set, and if Marth wants to, you know, figure that out, He's going to have to be really careful behind him. It seems that he's not quite learned the spacing on it yet. He's doing a really good job preventing him from coming down right now, though. It's tough to get back to the floor as Ness. There's a lot of... Ooh. I wonder if he was trying to hit him with the PK Thunder or if he just missed hitting himself. Marth's brought this right back, actually. He's made the necessary adjustments playing in the neutral. And he smashed the guys out of the PK fire. He's doing a good job keeping Ness boxed in on the ledge here. Ness doesn't really have that many options to get up from the ledge, so he's got to be really careful. If he can just secure the edge guard, then that'll be it. But he uh, he does not do it. Ooh, it's getting dangerous. Sloppy PK fire there. He's Probably getting nervous. He gives up center stage again. Ooh, I think that no, did not catch his jump. That was a good call out. And that is the set. Well, I was uh, just asked by the Nest player to commentate this set for him, so that's that.